welcome to Arthur L. Williams Stadium in Lynchburg, home to the Liberty Flames, and fans have been eagerly anticipating this clash and filling up this stadium quickly. Today, these two squads square off in a Conference USA showdown. As we'll see, the Florida International Panthers taking on the Liberty Flames. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth, as always, by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Guys, let's tee this one up. FIU will kick it off to get things underway. On the run from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. So the Liberty Flames offense will start this game off. And there's a man who believes he is always open. He carries that swag and that aura of a big-time playmaker, guys. He's got to catch the football. If you're the quarterback coming into this one, you are looking for this guy early, and David, you're looking for him often. And this offense better find ways to feature him. Find him, like you said, Jesse, early, often, deep, shallow. Get this man the football. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Dropping back, it's Salter. Just a short pass to the tight end. He's brought down at the 29 after a 10-yard gain. No reason to panic when you see those extra bodies coming. Just find the big tight end. Well, and the great ones do that. I think the great ones are okay. You want to blitz? I know my answers. I'm all right. I'll stay patient. Find the matchup. This time it was the tight end. Finds the tight end. Throws a strike. Gets the first down. A little too anxious along that offensive line. That'll be a false start. Oh, start. Oh, oh, oh. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. Running back searching for a hole. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. You see all this movement in football now, all the stem in the defensive line. They're sliding right before the snap, creating confusion for the offensive line. Then they're moving back and stunting. Really good job by the defense. Continue to move, continue to stunt, continue to get in the backfield and make this life hard on this running back. He'll do it himself. Snowed under by the defense. Great job with the decision making there. He read the defense, kept the football himself on the zone read, got a big game for a first down. And that's the kind of thing that really can kick your offense into overdrive. And it can also generate explosive plays, too. And there's things this offense can do off of these zone read type plays. You might see an RPO down the line. Looking to throw for it. Caught over the middle. It's Henderson. And he's down at the 31. That's a first down. These routes have some reads and adaptability built in, and the big fella found that cushion and made the play. Man, it's so awesome how much offenses have evolved. They know exactly what they're getting, where to sit down, quarterback, tight end, on the same page, gets the first down. From the gun, they'll try the middle. Still on his feet at the 45. Couldn't That's ask for right. much more there. A first down, and they're down to the 42. Every offense wants to be able to run the ball and be physical, especially on first down. And you want to create second and short, third and short, or just get first downs like that run right there. The Flames will snap it on first and ten. They're going to ride this running back. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. This defense is going to have to do a better job slowing down the run. We've seen twice now in this opening drive. This guy break one. And so this defense has to do a better job at the point of attack. And their D coordinator probably is already thinking to himself, do I have to get another guy in the box to slow this guy down? The give to the running back from the shotgun. Not much there on the run. He gets one to the 31. Man, that D tackle is a freak athlete. Did you see him come out of his stance and beat the offensive lineman? Getting to the running back. Cat-like quickness. Here comes the offense on second down. Defense has dominated the early part of this game, and the stats point that out emphatically.
Let's see if the offenses can find a little rhythm here in the second. On the option. And that's a live ball behind the line. Defense coming up with a huge fumble recovery. As a defender, you dream about those big hits. You, you work hard on it in practice, closing space, getting close, and just sticking that guy and causing the fumble. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Takes the handoff. It's Lawrence. You want to make sure to maximize those types of runs, and he gets it out to the 41. I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. FIU pushing tempo. They'll run it from the gun. Brought down to the ground, but he has enough for the first down. And that's all you want, right? You want that first down. Uh, understand the situation. Understand I got to get north and south. Get a first down. Get a new set of downs. Here comes the offense on first and ten from the 47. Looking to throw, it's Jenkins. Working that left side now. And not much doing there as that defense runs him out of bounds. Yeah, and you see running backs in today's football, they play a wide receiver basically for you, but you got to find a guy that you can throw to and you know he's going to catch the ball consistently. Line getting set on second down. Leaves it with the back. They get him on the ground, but it's a first down. Well, the offense knew what they needed to get that first down, so they dial up the running play, and they get just enough to keep the drive alive. FIU set up with another first down. They'll give it to him again. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. They tried to get the defense going the wrong way with the counter, but nothing doing. Aggressive defense, attacking defense. You want to hit them with those counters, but it wasn't successful in this play. Defensive line, linebackers, everybody's dialed in. They see what's going on. They diagnose it. Go downhill, hit him right in the middle of the field. On second down, looking again to throw. And they couldn't hold off the heat, and he goes down with the sack. And listen, the quarterback drops back, and he's going through his progressions. We see zone, but just couldn't do anything about it. This defensive line, this pressure, getting to the quarterback, getting him on the ground. break as we have reached the final two minutes of the first half. This is a third and long. On the run, it's Owens. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. It's an offense that takes pride in being physical. They try to get it going on the ground, but no gain on that one. Just nowhere to run. Not a lot of wiggle room for the ball carry. This defense came in knowing that they had to match their physicality. Let's see if they can keep it up. And the punt team able to smack him to the ground. Line gets set. First down. They're going to throw it to start the drive. It's on target and complete. Now they've got a little room to work with. They're out to the 28 with a the first down. 
You know, it's a nice throw by the QB there. When you throw into running backs, you got to make it easy on them. So you want to put it right on their body, make the catch simple, and let them go to work like they did just there getting that first. Offense has it at the 28 on first down. To the air, it's Salter. Looking to the big tight end. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. Well, the linebacker's playing zone coverage, and he's just watching the QB's eyes to see where he's going to go with the football, and the eyes take him to the ball. He's able to swat it away. Great play on defense. The incomplete pass leaves him with second down. He's looking to throw. And it'll be incomplete. This defense is physical in pass deep. Yeah, you see those balls in practice sometimes. They're just off the mark. And you, don't, you don't know how to control it. You don't know what goes wrong. But sometimes QBs miss, and it's an incompletion. They've made third down offense a key. It'll be tested on third and long from the 28. They'll leave it with him. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. The run game just has not been working for this offense all game long. You saw it on that last play as well. Just not getting enough push up front on the offensive line. It hasn't been physical. Fourth down, and the punt team sent it the other way. Fair catch, called for and made. Offense getting set for first down. He wants to throw. Pocket starts to collapse. He'll pull it down and run. He's finally stopped, but a big play there with his feet as he moves those sticks. The offense will quickly use a timeout. They created a lot of breathing room with that first play of the drive. Now first down from the 39. Looking to move it through the air. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there for the second down. This defense has a lot of speed, especially in the secondary. You saw that speed. That defender got to that receiver so quick because of the hit. Incomplete pass. On second and 10, a four wide out set trips right. To throw, it's Jenkins. He lobs one high down the left side. And that ball is hauled in inside the 35. What a beautiful throw and catch on this play. And I love the job the receiver did tracking the ball in the air. Nice job of locating the throw and then hauling it in. Clock stops momentarily for the first down. They'll hurry to the line. Going up top on first down. Quarterback floating away from pressure. They'll wrap him up, and he didn't find the same kind of running room this time as he did on the previous play. The offense calls timeout, and they won't have any more left this half. Looking to throw on second down. Got it! And he's into the end zone! Touchdown, FIU! And I just love the execution by this offense. Late in the half, man, you want to take the lead. You want to get that momentum on your side, and they do it. They finish it with the passing game. I'll tell you what, heat that passing game up. You can keep this lead, keep the momentum, and keep putting up numbers. Ready to try the point after. And the extra point is good, and it's 7-0. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And they cover the final 29 yards with that touchdown pass. They're lining up to boot it away. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. On the ground with the counter. Got to be smart, patient, great vision. Uses all of that to get to the 29. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Thanks, guys. Looks like you've had a very enjoyable day so far there today in Lynchburg.
And I get it. A lot of coaches will say the difference between winning and losing comes down to stopping big plays and getting big plays. But if you ask me, it's more about how good you are on third down and how efficient you are in keeping drives alive. Those two stats can help you break the will of even the best defenses and help you come out on top. And with that, let's send it back to the fellas at the Bill Arthur L. Williams Stadium. And the Flames will try to kick this one deep to get things underway in the second half. And he takes this from inside the five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. FIU gets it back, and the Panthers will send the offense back onto the field. Pressure coming. Hit hard just as he released it on first down and just couldn't get it to the receiver. And that, and that was good defense again, and unfortunately, we've been saying that all game long. Really, really good defense for... Listen, you can spin on the other side. This offense has really been bad. Second and ten after the previous play. They'll ride the running back and leave it with it. Gets it out to the 20 after a pickup of four. FIU pushing tempo. Third and long, try to convert through the air. Trying to escape and get it himself. And he tries to get away, but he cannot. He's taken down, he'll lose a couple. Well, the defense obviously went in at halftime. They were trailing on the scoreboard. They needed to make some adjustments, and already they're showing some positive signs. On the very first drive in the second half, they're able to register a sack on third down, looking to get the ball back to their offense here. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Surprisingly makes a fair catch just outside the 40-yard line. Liberty takes over the flame, sending the offense back onto the field. The sledding has been tough. Scores have been at a premium, Jesse, and every possession seems like it could switch the momentum of the game. Yeah, Reese, for this offense, it just feels like they just haven't been as physical. And for this offensive coordinator, David, he's having to go deep into the playbook just to try to generate a first down. Well, and the good thing is there's not a ton of game pressure because the other side's not scoring either. But if you can find that one thing that... Get that one positive play, and then maybe you get those juices going, and something can start to build. That run epitomizes a veteran, savvy senior who knows how to find space. Oh, what a great play call. Sneaking the draw. The defense clearly thinking pass, flying up the field. No, sir. A little handoff, a little sneak attack. Great play call. Offense lines up for a first and 10 from the 43. He'll pull it on the read. And a decent game there before the defense makes the stop. And this option attack can roll you to sleep sometimes. I mean, just so many things they can do off of it, and you just got to play responsibility, responsibility, and you got to get them on the ground and make tackles. And that was a good job limiting the damage on that play with a nice tackle. And on second down for this offense. They'll run it out of the shotgun. Hard running there. And the defense snows him under after a very short game. They're strong and they're scrawl. Defensive tackles, they're scrawl. They're such big jokers in the middle where they just lock out those offensive linemen. And running backs, listen, they don't have much of a chance. When you got that 300-plus pound guy grabbing you around the shoulder pad, you tend to go to the ground pretty quickly. Scrambling away. Going to try to get it himself. Nifty little scamper on this one. Enough for the first down, and he slides in safely. This is such a frustrating feeling. When you got a defense that drops back, takes away all the immediate options, does a really good job with the first play, the pass play, but then you got a quarterback that just pulls it down, easily gets the first down. I just don't know how you stop a guy like this. Looking for the end zone. Oh, what a grab by the defense. 
Man, that is how you get it done as a defense when you're playing cover one. Like, you got the middle of the field safety, but everybody else is manning up. Nice job running with this guy, seeing the football, breaking on it, making the interception, making the big play for this defense. The offense lining up for a first down play. Leaves it with the running back. Into the pile, maybe got one. He stopped at the 21. That's the end of the quarter, and FIU is on top. They've done the work to build a nice cushion. Now to bring it home as we check out the stats after three quarters. Not only is the scoreboard on their side, but so too is time as we open the fourth. Using his legs, it's Lawrence. Tripped up at the 25 after picking up two. And how about this offense, man? Being able to succeed, still winning without their bell cow, without their star being their star. This offense has not had a great game on the ground, but they're still in the lead. FIU pushing tempo. Looking for a man. It's Jenkins. Snatches it on the right. Nothing but green ahead. Touchdown, Panthers. And once he found daylight, it was Katie bar the door, baby. Man, how hard is it to defend when you have a weapon like this at running back that can play wide receiver? You can design ways to get the football in his hand. Palmer, once you get it in his hands, he'll do the rest. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, and oftentimes those are easier throws for quarterbacks. And these running backs, they're just naturally so good when they have the football out in space. Their vision, their creativity, their ability to make people miss. And this guy showed you right there a difficult difficult guy to stop now if you're this defense moving forward lining up to add another and the extra point is true and they have a two touchdown lead up 14 in the fourth that makes the score for Florida International 14 Kickoff team lining up to send this one away. He'll start the return inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Liberty takes over, and the Flames offense ready to go to work. He wants to start this drive with a pass. Finds his tight end. Didn't pick up a lot there. Moved it forward just a few. And in this situation, wait, when you need two touchdowns to win the game, everything's going to have to be downfield. So I like the idea in this two-minute drive, throwing it that way. Let's keep it going, keep our pedal to the metal here. Let's see what they've got on second down. He's looking to throw. Working the middle of the field, and it's complete. And they finally haul him down, but not before the good catch and run. Well, this offense has not put their best product on the field today. They've got no points to show for any of their efforts so far, but they've still got a chance. But if it's going to happen, it has to happen now in this two-minute situation. This is where their playmakers need to step up. Back to pass, it's Salter. He's going for the big play. And it slips through his fingers. Incomplete. That would have been a huge game if he could have held on. It's great for this quarterback to take shots down the field, but you just don't want it to feel like a give up or a chuck it up and hope kind of play. And I think understanding the situation, now I'm on defense, right? If they're going to take shots down the field, maybe I'm a little bit more aggressive with my blitz, understanding that everything's going to take a little bit more time to develop if they're going to take those deep shots. He gets the job done, picking up the first down, then getting down. You know, QBs want to make those big plays. They want to, they want to put up the big stats, but... When nothing's there, sometimes you just tuck the ball, get a minimal gain. I like the slide, by the way, too. Get down and don't take a big hit. The Flames are in the hurry up. Hey, 
He'll come out throwing on first down. Buys a little time with his feet. And he has a solid gain on the play before sliding. He does a good job of dropping back, going through his progressions. Nothing there. What do I do? Go get some yardage. Make it positive. Don't sit back in the pocket and force something into a bad situation or take a sack. Great job making something out of nothing. And now on second down for this offense. He's looking to throw. He's moving out of the pocket. Picks up the first down and gets That's down right. to avoid contact. We hit the two-minute warning, and this offense is desperate to make something happen and do it in a hurry. And the Flames have it with a first and ten. Been showing them the run. Now they'll throw it. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. And that's exactly what this defense needed. They needed to have something positive. Giving up some yardage. They've given up some plays. No big deal. Got right back in it on this drive with that big sack. They'll hurry to the line with the clock still running. Wants to throw. It's Salter. He'll take a shot. And swatted down by the defense to stop the scoring opportunity. You simply don't see that very often. A quarterback of this guy's caliber missing a guy wide open in the end zone. He makes those throws in his sleep. This will be the eighth play of the drive, but a great opportunity for the defense to get off the field. On third and long, you'll need to push it downfield. And the quarterback will be slung down back at the 43. Here we are late in the game, and this secondary, they are still covering. They forced the QB to hold on to it, and then he bailed out, trying to buy himself more time. And because he couldn't get rid of the football so quickly early, that allowed the pass rush to get to him. Down by multiple possessions, they can't come up empty on this drive in the fourth quarter. They'll go for it on fourth down. Unloads to the wideout. A strike downfield. How about that defense rising up and stopping him short on fourth down? Extra blockers on the field. Offense goes full house. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. you got to believe they just want to run it, take care of the football, and keep that clock moving on second and nine. They feed him again. And they'll wrestle him to the ground after a short game. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. Now facing a third and long. To the ground with the back. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. FIU will line up the punt. Slips through the line. Returns like that are why you don't settle for the fair catch if you don't have to. Picks up just a little bit of yards to help out the O. They're going to open this drive with a pass. Got him downfield. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep him from getting the first down. Well, and a nice job working the middle of the field. I think it's so important to keep defenses honest, and you can't just dink and dunk outside. you got to work the middle. Great job finding this wide receiver over the middle of the field. The Flames moving quickly to the line. And they'll get to the line and spike it to stop the clock. It leads to second down. Second down coming up. Dropping back, it's Salter. Throws to the wideout. It's caught. Big, big gain on that one as he steps out of bounds with a first down.
One more play to pad the stats. He's looking to throw it. Ball is dropped, incomplete, and that will do it for this one. Marcos. 